Hey y'all, and welcome to today's Legend Lost Sector guide. Sorry it took so long to do. This Legend Lost Sector is a bit of a doozy, at least for my build, and I've been having some personal issues today, something about wasp stings. Uh, but it is Scavenger's Den in the European Dead Zone with Barrier and Overload Champions. Modifiers are Scorched Earth, Increased Arc, Increased Solar, and the only thing in the entire thing with the shield is a Arc Shield on the, um, boss so thank everybody for that i'm using bubble because it's a ground boss and with crown splitter energy accelerant you can pretty much destroy his health bar sunshot I need to take care of that and to take advantage of that increased solar damage and just a chroma rush to deal with the barriers it is currently dropping exotic leg armor so let's without further ado let's get right into it all right in this first room there's going to be some dregs and a couple marauders just right ahead of you Just kill as many of them as can. There's your Marauder. Remember, increase solar damage, so he will go right through your health bar. There is going to be a Vandal on the other side of the room. Just try to get him down. Boom, he's dead. There's going to be a bunch of small boys in here. You want to kill as many of them as possible before you try to take down the bear. There's also another Marauder that can come up. Oh crap, he's getting buffed. Can you get out of the buff radius? Thank you. I'm just gonna kill him for an overshield. Toss a nade down there. Okay, that's cheating. He's hiding. I can't even hit him through there. Well, I can, but not very well. Watch on your health bar. Okay, I believe that's all of his friends. Hello there, sir. Wait, no, there's one more friend left of his. Two, I think, yep. Now all of his friends are dead and those boys show up. Light. There goes your barrier. Let's get an overload shot on him. And then go in with the crown splitter. Light! Light! Heavy. Occasionally, I mess it up. Okay, stop just spamming sword. It's a waste of sword ammo. Light! 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 Heavy. There we go. Don't know why I messed up the combo so bad. But let us continue. There is going to be some dregs up ahead. Use Sunshot to help deal with them. Because increased arc damage is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pre Solar! Don't know why my brain said arc. There goes most of the dregs. There's going to be a Marauder. You can just dispose of him. There is our problem child. And Sunspot for stunning is actually pretty interesting because its explosions count as the stun blast. Now that our friend's dead, there are going to be some mines up ahead you want to deal with. There's one there, and then there's a couple here. In the next room, there's going to be a the final boss, as well as a barrier and overload champion. I wish I didn't have to run dual primaries, but I do. See if you can get some extra damage in. Okay, yeah, they did that stupid bullet hell thing. Don't worry about it. You'll have plenty of revives. Try not to die too much, though. 
don't do what I did the last run through, which is I accidentally pop my bubble. Are you kidding me? This is why this last room is kind of evil. He, the servitor can just be like, nah, fam, you don't get no Reva. You guys, you don't need to worry about being stunned. <sighs> this is why I absolutely despise this last room with every part of my being. It's just garbage in every way. It does pulls cheap tactics to be self-difficult. Stun you so you don't regen. Pop a barrier to help me heal. Worry about why my game is stuttering later. Continue popping down things on the barrier. Servitor. Continue popping down DPS. Cutting right through his sorry excuse for a barrier and hopefully finally killing him. There we go. Finally dead. Now I can take care of the overload in a little more peace. There we go. Overload's down. There's just going to be some normal ads protecting the boss. Of course, the boss still has a rapid-fire shrapnel launcher, so watch out for that. And I was doing so good, too. Move fast so you don't get detected. Wait for your health to come back and move up. Continue shooting forward, reload, and move up for the next kill of the ad. Once all the ads are done, Titans, be ready to pop your bubble and basically one tap the boss. Once your bubble is popped, light, light, heavy. You know the drill, and it will basically one tap him because that is the power of weapons of light energy accelerant. Bubble. But I ha that is how you do the Scavenger's Den Legend Lost Sector. Anyway, congratulations once again on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this guide helpful. In the future, I am looking to be making Master Lost Sector guides as soon as I can actually do them. I'll also be making a Nightfall guide for next, season for next week's Legend Nightfall. Anyway, I've been the Kill of Wolves, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye